Hi, this is Dennis with Second Chance Tackle, and well, it's that time of the week where we kind of look at the packages that have recently arrived, and we'll see what uh, the upcoming projects are going to be in my shop, and we'll see which ones of those are going to make it to video. So, uh, we're going to start. This one comes in from Tennessee. I believe it was purchased, used, and uh, the message I got is, can you take a look at it, see if you can make it work well, and uh, well, we got to a reel that's been partially taken apart here. This is a loose crush reel. Looks like it's gotten crushed. I don't know. The side plate's coming off. We're missing the uh, uh, adjuster. Looks like we're missing the screws. And it's running rough. Wow, that ought to be a good project. So we're going to do this project in two steps. One, we're going to have to get the uh, pieces and parts to hold it together and then we're gonna have to figure out what's wrong with it and we probably have to do that in reverse get to figure out what's wrong with it because you don't want to order pieces and parts on speculation only to find out that you missed something along the way so we've got a lose mock crush and uh, we'll see what we can do there to uh, get that right next one comes in from uh, well, my home state of New Jersey here And New Jersey's a long state. A lot of people say, well, gee, why don't they just uh, drop it off? Well, we're a long state. We're about 150 miles north to south. This one's coming in from about 30 to 40 miles away. And everybody is uh, keeping the bubble wrap guys in business today. We have a uh, Shimano Torium. And if I remember the anti-reverse, yeah, there's something going on with this one. We have an issue here with the anti-reverse, if I recall. Yeah, we have an anti-reverse issue here. Um, this one was in for service before. And, uh, well, we're going to have to just go back and we're going to have to see. He got a season's worth of fishing out of it. And then it's, the anti-reverse started slipping again. So, uh, if I recall that one, it was loaded with uh, greases and oils. We did our best to clean them up. And, uh, well, we did our best. Well, I, I get a lot of reels into the shop. A lot of these make them onto video. And if you want to see these and how to repair them and, and the like, uh, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And if you do subscribe to the channel, please use that notification button to keep you alerted as to when I'm posting the videos. And, uh, well, you can see what you want to watch and then uh, view and learn how the reels come together how they're taken apart, how to service them, and so on. And, um, well, that's what I'm here for, to teach you how to do it yourself. That's kind of the notion of second chance tackle, to, to give these reels a second chance to, to go fishing again. A lot of them come in broken. And uh, if you enjoy that, it doesn't matter. You'll see, we just saw a freshwater bait caster followed by an ocean trolling reel. This, uh, this box has got a, a group of uh, ocean reels in there, some spinning. And, uh, well, you never know what you're going to get. So if you hit that notification button, you'll see what I'm working on, and you'll see which ones make it to video. I've worked on a couple of these. Now, I, this one is the 975 lever drag. This one seems to have a fairly common problem. We should be in free spool, but, well, that handle's turning. That shouldn't be. So uh, we're going to have to see what's going on with that reel. I think I've done the lever drag. If I haven't, I'll certainly try and make that to a video. Next one up is kind of the ever-present uh, Pen SS series around here. It's a 4500 SS. Seems to be bottoming out a little bit. A little bit of gear noise. That one should clean up. We have another 975 lever drag. Please, if you have these reels, do not store them with the lever drag on. Please store them with the lever drag off. This one's just tight, but uh, spinning nonetheless. So maybe we'll use that as a blueprint. And, well, we have uh, yet one more of these. This is the 965. This is a star, star drag. like these reels a lot. There's a hang-up here, and I can see already what the issue is. We have a bent post here for the guide post. So it's running okay on some spots, and then it's, uh, well, it's getting jammed up on others. I don't know if you can see the bow in that, but that's going to have to be replaced. And then we have one that I haven't done in a while. It's the newer version of the Pen uh, 300 series. This is the 320 lever drag. I've, these never were my favorites. 
only because as you get further in, um, this has got the same issue here with the being free spool, not being in free spool. That's probably dirt. But back to why they're not my favorites. As you increase the tension on the lever drag, it gets harder to turn. And that just seems to be indicative of that uh, particular make. And uh, well, we're going to do our best to see if we can restore those to uh, fishing. All right, the next one comes in from uh, Rhode Island. And I think this is a repeat offender. That's an inside joke. It's somebody who's sent me reels before. Let's see what we can do this time. Okay, well, we've got a, uh, I don't know, we've got a, a well packed box with two reels in it. One looks to be a pen fierce. Well, while I'm doing this unpacking here, if you have any questions on these reels or any, if you'd like to see a video on any of these, please leave a message and uh, I'll uh, certainly try and do the video for you if I don't plan to do it. This is a fierce too, and this is the 6,000 size fierce. Like the reels a lot. They're a good economical choice in a larger spin fishing reel. You have a good, better, best strategy with pen. You have the uh, pursuit, the fierce, and the battle. They're all very well-made reels, and they're all at very good price points. So I'll check to see if I've done the fierce in that series. I probably have, but if I haven't, I'll try to do that video. And then here's a second fierce. This one looks a little bit more well used because, well, we've got some greening or something on there. This is the fierce 4000. This is the first series of the, the fierce. Not many changes between the two. This one had a solid spool. You may have noticed on the other one that it had a slotted spool or drilled hole spools. That throws the water out a little bit easier. Other than that, uh, seems to be riding fine. A little bit of noise in there, probably from use. So we got two pen fierces here. Let's see what we can do. I'll see if there's videos on them. Again, I like them a lot. They're, I think they're priced well. Then the last one comes in from Lincoln, Nebraska. Uh, we've got uh, four reels in here. Uh, first one up is a Quantum. This is the Quantum Kinetic PTI. Uh, that PTI system uh, was popular on the, um, the Boca and on the Cabo reels. Looks like we have a uh, Daiwa, probably the re uh, Laguna 2000. Looks like something's gone amiss with the bale there. Uh, we have a small pen, a pen uh, 430 SS. Of course, versus all the modern reels, that one's just as strong as it's been. And we got one more here. This looks like um, Another Daiwa, yeah, it's a Daiwa Excelsior 2500 TSH. So uh, we've got some work to do there. I'm going to check my library on those. If, uh, if they haven't appeared in my library, then I'm certainly going to try and add those to them uh, as I, I work on the reels. And then finally, I showed you one I picked up at a flea market the other day. This is a True Temper 922C. Uh, one of our viewers called in and said she likes the reel. Could she purchase it? And I said, you sure can, uh, but not before I go and service the reel. So I'm going to be doing that one as well. I checked my library. I haven't done one on the 922 uh, since uh, well, about three years ago. So I may just do it to update it with the hopes that maybe I'm getting a little bit better at this than I was uh, earlier on when I was doing these. Certainly from a photography standpoint, I know I've changed my cameras since then and that gives us a little bit clearer view of those so if i get a chance there i'll try to do the videos on that as well there is one more here that i almost forgot this one was dropped off the other day so i got two of these shimano bait runners 4500 b series or 4500 series the b i guess is on the spool here this one is the one that he fishes all the time, and it has a broken bale. We picked up a second parts reel, which are hard enough to find as it is. 
with a good bail, and he asked me, can I transfer the two? Well, I can certainly do that. But as I was playing around with it, everything on this reel is working, except that it's got a bad bearing. So I mentioned that to him. I said, would you like me to restore this one as well? After he said he can find a rotor assembly for this, I said, well, go ahead and do that. Get the rotor assembly. I'll try and uh, get the bearing, and uh, we'll uh, go ahead and make two functional reels. Rather than holding on one for parts, have a second one in reserve. Very hard to find these reels. Very hard to find the parts. There's a reason for it. They're very popular reels, and they're very well made. So that's, uh, that's kind of a preview of what's coming up in the week ahead. Uh, several of those I'll try to do the videos on. And if you see one here that uh, I, I don't plan to do the video on, please let me know. I will try to add that to the, um, the filming schedule if I can. Things are getting hectic again. Everybody's getting ready for the spring season to, to break soon. And uh, if I can, I will add that to the list and hopefully show you how to service some of these reels if you own them yourselves. To our first responders, essential personnel, thank you for everything it is that you do to keep us safe. Your efforts truly are appreciated. To everyone, please stay safe, stay well, and stay watching. This is Dennis with Second Chance Tackle. Have a great day.